G'day subscribers, welcome to FJ Holden Jive Talking, you're with Jules Knight. What I wanted to do today is talk about rust on an FJ. So if we look at mine, um, it's, it's a typical, what you'd call panel van, I suppose. Um, now when you're bolting these back together or from original manufacturer in the factory, there was an L shape, an upside down L shape rubber that went about here. Well, part of the problem was this would absorb moisture coming up from the wheels. So as, as water would come up from the inside being sprayed up in the rain, this rubber part here would get soaked in water and would keep wet. Now, when you've got uh, wet material around metal, this is the type of thing that happens. So, you know, it's not uncommon to see this all rusted. You can see, you know, rust coming through there. This is this has got bog that's been put in it. So you would find rust here, rust along here. Uh, you you could also find rust here. And and then the typical thing that you see is the the sills that are all rusted out. You know, so the inner sill there is very, very rusty. And then when you get to here it becomes non-existent. And then towards the back of the car, it's really a case of in front of that back wheel, you know, this is where you're getting a lot of it. So Lachlan has actually hit this with a sander so that we can see what's going on. But what I actually do for these sills is I put a, I put as, as the dog goes past, I put a sedan sill on a ute because the sedan sill is quite long. So I'll use that for this, this sill. So the first thing I will do is I'll remove the seats. So that's step one. And then secondly, it'll be a case of removing all the trim over there, welding a right angle brace on the top and the bottom, the same both sides, and then crisscrossing the bracing and the same from the B pillar to the kick panel. So that'll have a crisscross. And then the same on, on this door here, that'll have a crisscross. So once we've got that, then it'll be a case of we can actually remove the inner sill and we'll install the inner sill first. Because once you've got the inner sill, sill done first, well then you can put the outer sill on it and line it up line it up in here because you're going to do a cut here and a cut there to put your sill in so that it actually uh looks proper along here and if you've got you know a small weld there and a small weld there and you do it properly well people aren't going to notice it and then the same here you actually and we'll do a video on this you actually want to clean this up and we will find good metal here and we will slip the the uh the sedan sill panel beaded up inside this and then screw or uh drill and pop rivet i drilled and pop riveted last time along here and then i vice gripped i vice gripped the uh, lower sill last time the inner sill so i vice gripped the inner sill to the outer sill and then i pop riveted it along here and I had vice grips along here to keeping everything in place because what I wanted to do was I wanted to maintain the curvature here as much as possible. So I was going for here so that I can actually get this bottom door gap right when the new sill goes on. But don't worry about that, folks. We'll do a, uh, we'll do a video on that. But at the moment... You know, we're getting closer. We're going to have a crack at it in February. Now I know what I'm doing. So it's a case of uh, I'm really looking forward to February. But, you know, that the quarter panel on both sides are straight. A little bit of panel beating around the back. But generally speaking, that's pretty good. Uh, inside, I'll get, um, I'll definitely get, you know, over here, uh, new kick panels for it. I'd really like new door cards. And, and this interior, thanks to um, 
to Rodney, he's been able to give us a, a sample of what it of what the upholstery should be like. So I'll keep this for a little bit, um, but I would like to fix those door cards up because I really don't like how you can you might see where the shadow of my finger is at the moment, and I don't like the fact that you can actually see the indentation of the door card into the segment of the door. So I would much prefer to have a better door card than that. Um, but if you do that, and you know you're not happy with the colour of the interior, because this is a very typical interior type of colour when people are refurbishing their their uh, early Holdens. So um, you know it's a case of do you do you go the full hog or do you just do your door cards um, and leave it at that for the moment? So that's. That's a decision I've got to actually um, make at the moment. We've already got the um, cargo panels all done. Michael's already cut them for me. I've got him the, the jigsaws to do all that. So that's done. They're sitting in the back. There's the little dicky seat. I've got the cover there for, uh, believe it or not, my dad's puppet show. Um, but generally speaking, we've got a, we've, we've got a pretty good start. Um, now, this seat here I'm not happy with. Uh, this seat actually tilts forward, but it is actually a fixed L. So ideally, I want the back of that seat to fold down and then the front to fold forward. So if I can actually get that engineering happening, I would be very happy with that because that's going to allow uh, more uh, ingress into, into the dicky seat from that side, from the passenger side of the car. Anyway, we've got a few other things that are happening at the moment, but there you go, folks. That's a a little bit as far as the, the panel van, the, the ute is concerned with with the rust that you get on the on the front guard, the door sills, a little bit on the door, uh, in front of the rear door, and sometimes you get it behind the, the real rear wheel as well, depending upon how much of the actual um, mud that actually is left to um, stick in that wheel well but anyway folks have a look at our uh, page on uh, Facebook at uh, Nasco Bay Speed Shop you'll also see us on uh, FJ Hold and Jive Talking but in the meantime don't forget to share like and subscribe but more importantly enjoy your holding <laughs>